Hello, my name is Steve Watts and I am from a company called Yaylink. Yaylink design and manufacture their own comprehensive range of high quality but cost effective business class SIP handsets. And today I am here to present to you an overview of the features and functionality of two devices from the range, the T32G and the T38G Gigabit SIP desk phone handsets. Laid out before me are all of the items from inside the A-Link T32G and T38G gift box. The important things first, some paperwork. Here we have declaration of conformity and a warranty statement, a quick reference guide and a quick installation guide. And there is a CD containing each of these documents. Following the quick installation guide, we will now assemble both devices. So the first thing to do is to connect the main unit to the base. So you move the base into these slots marks here and then push down. As the T32 is wall mountable, I just wanted to show you how the base is split and connected. So in a wall mount position, or for wall mounting the phone, the base station is split, rotated, but then connected to the device in exactly the same way. The next thing to do is to connect the handset. Now make sure the short end goes actually in the handset. And then the long end goes into here. And then it's guided into the stand here. The next stage is the power. Power supply. And this is a UK power supply. The right power supply for your country will be supplied. Goes into this connector here. The final stage of the installation is connecting the Ethernet cable. If the Ethernet cable is PoE, then you don't need the PSU, so this can be removed. Move to one side. And then connecting the gigabit PoE cable goes into the internet connection. Once the units are assembled and powered up, the final stage of the installation is configuring the device. All of the Yaling devices support auto provisioning via various methods, PNP, DHCP, TFTP, FTP, HTTP, and securely via HTTPS. So if a configuration is available for download via any of these methods, the installation would now be complete. However, if the device needs to be manually configured, you can either press the menu button and then work through the intuitive menu structure embedded into the device, or you could use a suitable browser on your laptop browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox or Chrome. If you do choose to use a laptop browser, you will need to know the IP address of the device to enter into the browser command line, and this is achieved by simply pressing the OK button. So now we have the T32G and the T38G fully assembled. As you can see, apart from the physical size, they are very similar in look but they do have some subtle differences. However, let's first consider the similarities of the two units. Both the T32G and T38G are driven by the Texas Instrument TI Ares chipset and TI voice engine, which ensures both devices support high definition voice, the HD codec, and the handset is also HD. Both the T32G and the T38G support loudspeakers and the loudspeakers are also HD speakers. The key differences between the two devices, apart from the physical size, 
are the display. The T32G has a 3 inch 256K color TFT LCD display, whereas the display on the T38G is a 4.3 inch 16.7 million color TFT LCD display. The T32G supports three VoIP accounts and therefore has three line keys, but these keys can be made to be configurable options for other features. The T38G supports six VoIP accounts and therefore has six line key, but again, these can be configured for different features. The T38G has an additional 10 programmable key strip here. And the T38G also has the option to connect up to six expansion panels, each offering 38 additional feature keys. Both the T32 and the T38 has four soft keys under the display, which the status changes during a call. Both models also have a series of fixed keys. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and I trust you now have an understanding of the Yealink T32G and T38G Gigabit SIP desk phone handsets. As I have covered so many points, please continue to watch this summary of the key features of the T32G and T38G devices.